Okay, how are we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Illuminous 4K screen paint using ambient light rejection technology gain. I like to do two of these demonstrations, one live and one not live. Usually when we do the streams, the screen quality does get a little chewed up a little bit here and there, and I may sound like a robot from time to time, but I want to show you this screen and actually a pre-recorded demonstration just so you can see exactly how magnificent this. Now, keep in mind, this is a gold uh, gaming projection screen we have been working on. It does work for other applications besides gaming. Now, as for our gaming deluxe paint, yeah, it does have some signs of nine, but this is 100% nine technology. Um, now the screen I'm gonna show you in the next room over here, this is Supreme 8. Right there, our ambient light rejection screen paint. As you can see, I'm doing this in a fully lit environment. I don't have to worry about my screen washing out or fading or any of that nonsense that usually you would have to go through if you're using any form of gray screens or screen paint mixes and so forth that do not have ambient or support ambient light rejection technology. And you look at, as you can see, as I'm using my Sony uh, short throw projector, also short throw projector. As you can see, the projector doesn't sit up right near the screen. It actually sits down on the floor. So it's an ultra short throw, but it's actually giving off a long throw at the same time. But let's go back to the screen we're talking about over here. Now, as before, I told you this is a form of a very strange color screen. Uh, it does not match a gray. It does not match a black. And definitely, as you can see, it doesn't match white. Now, just to show you that the screen is what it is, we have a dark gray sample here. We're going to lay that right up against the screen right there so you can see that it doesn't match at all. And then we have some black, as you can see right here. I'm going to put the black sample right there. I want you to look at this very carefully so you can see how odd the screen is. And keep in mind, we are the only ones who have this form of technology. I'm going to come over here in the light so you can get a better look at it. So you can see how strange these look. Now, there's a reason why the screen has this particular color, because number one, the contrast, white level, levels, color pop, it just looks, just on this technology, it's absolutely amazing. And as for those of you who are thinking that, okay, I have to have a silver screen in order to produce 3D, nope, this technology actually works better than silver. It's actually fantastic all the way around. But like I said, it's the only one of its kind. I had people already trying to predict when we first were talking about the 9 and 10 that they were both really black and they were actually so sadly mistaken that these screens are not black at all. All right, so we're going to remove this from the door and show you my PS4. We're going to do a little gaming really quick. I'm going to go back to my gaming that I just had a few minutes ago. I was doing a little Borderlands real quick. And let me show you how amazing gaming looks on this screen. Now, keep in mind the technology oh, is only at 10% done. Alive again? I can't afford this. Only at 10% done. <laughs> You're always doing something different on another level that nobody else is doing. Down. 
I've made the eye on this one. Let me just give you an idea how amazing this technology looks. And we're gonna pop out of this real quick. You can see how beautiful the gaming looks on this game. Absolutely incredible. Alright, so we'll come out of here real quick. We'll pop over to YouTube. We'll do some video demonstrations really quick. Well, we had Tron over here. We'll do a little Tron demonstration too also. Now, as you can see, we can do Tron in a fully lit environment. Eights have this technology also that allows the screen to be able to produce an image in a fully lit environment. Let me move the camera back a little bit. Now, this I can do. Take our lights out. See how the screen reacts in the dark, which is always perfect. Tell you one thing, if people weren't terrified about the nine, I would be. Nines will put, I'm telling you, nines is going to be an incredible screen. It's going to be an incredible screen. So that only 10% done, that's it. And this is actually coated on styrofoam. out.
See how beautiful the colors are? Like I said, this gold technology is absolutely incredible.
screen is about as we go along. How beautiful the gold on the screen is. It's amazing. It's beautiful. So this is all I can show you on the gaming gold. I'm having some fun with this being a little too much. Let's go over here real quick. I'm gonna show you over here. This right here is our Supreme 8 ambient light rejection screen paint. And I wanna show you something really quick. I'm gonna show you how amazing this technology is. This is something that you won't see being done with any other screens out there. Now, for those of you who have white screens who feel that white screens are the best way to go, I got a sample right here for you. I'm gonna put that right there. All right, this is what screen you're gonna get from using a white screen versus our technology. All right, and we're using this on a um, ultra short of Sony projector. This is the Cinema Gray 5D, sorry, sorry, Cinema Gray, my fault. And this has a 0 0.1. This is the almost the equivalent of having a kind of a gray screen paint mix Right there, we're going to put that right here. All right, now that screen probably runs around a hundred inch, would cost you uh, somewhere in the price range of probably between eight and nine hundred dollars. All right, so next to that, we are going to take uh, the Cinema Gray 5D right there that has a 1.5 gain and we're going to put that right here right there all right so you can see that screen right there on its own and then we're going to take the dark star 9 right there now the cinema gray 5d would cost you anywhere between maybe uh, $1,300, uh, $1, $1,400, even $1,500. This particular one would cost you around $3,000 uh, just for a 100-inch. And we're going to put that right here. All right, so we're going to come over here and show you the screen at different angles so you can see. Now, I think the Dark Star 9 may or may not work with ultra short throw projectors, or maybe we have to have it in line with the screen. So I'm going to bring it down all the way a little closer to the screen down here and see if that brings it up a little better. We have a more better image there. Now, as you can see, not to put down elite screens in any way, but to paint a 126. Uh, inch my screen is about 126 inch. So I have paint 120 inch of the screen would cost you and because we're having that sale on the one and two quart kits would cost you somewhere around $129 if you were going to do a 150 inch screen it would cost you around $176 consider the fact that we have an elite screen cinema gray here that would cost you for a hundred inch probably between 800 or 900 over here we have the uh, cinema gray 5d that would cost you anywhere from 13 maybe $1,500 for hundred inch and over here we have the dark star 9 that would cost you in the price range of probably $3,000 where our screen and the white screen is pretty much going to be very cheap. If it's unnamed brand, you can get it for 50 to 60 bucks. If they are, probably two, three, maybe 400 bucks, depending on who's making the screen. But as you can see with our screen, I can take my camera and see it from any angle. It's going to pull up. The screen's going to be a nice deep blue, as it should be. And we'll come back over here and do the demonstration again on this side. Be sure they're going to pick up a nice deep blue. Now, the only problem I have with some of the screens that have something called a narrow viewing comb is that if you turn to the side, the screen will become dark. Now, this may be because maybe the screen is not compatible with ultra short though projectors. That can be it, or maybe it just has a narrow viewing comb. But as you can see on the Dark Star 9, you can see the image there. When we go up into the front of the screen, 
it blends with our screen quite well. And then when we turn to the side, it turns a little darker. Now I'm going to grab something with a lot of color in it. So you can see why our technology is best. And keep in mind, like I said, we test our technology on just about everything. Other screen paints will tippy toe around these demonstrations due to the fact that they do not have the capability to do so from the beginning. We'll put on a nice colorful demonstration. And you can see right from there, the advantage point of our technology. As you see, we're, we can blend into a dark star nine extremely easy. As I said before, some of these screens have very narrow viewing cones. And we'll take the lights out also too. So you can see our technology with the lights out compared to some of these other screens. Get it next to the dark line. Look at right next to the gray cinema 5D. See how it blends in? That's why I like doing these demonstrations just to show you just about on every level how our technology just works on so many different levels and how you can use our technology in a fully lit environment. All right, now really quick as a recap, really quick before I sign off here, as I said before, we are having that special sale. That sale is going to end on March the 10th, so please take advantage of it. This will give you a chance to have our amazing screen paint. You can use it in a fully lit environment. They're compatible with ultra short though can project it and look absolutely incredible. As for the gold screen, that is at 10% done and that's not coming out anytime soon we're still working on that as we speak all right thank you for your time i gotta go and god bless